Hi, I'm Lieutenant Julie Waldsmith, and I wanted to take the opportunity to show you a little bit about what it's like to be aboard the NOAA King Air aircraft. What I have behind me is our coastal mapping program photogrammetry sensor, which we use for all of our data collection. So we take on a lot of different missions, but primarily what we do is we map the coastal United States so that we can always interpret a continuously updated shoreline product. So today we're at NOAA's Aircraft Operations Center, but like I said, we can be anywhere across the United States. But today we're here. What would normally take place if we were going to be out flying this very morning would be actually several steps before we even get to the plane. That is calculating the tides to make sure that we can fly in the tide window, whether it be high tide or low tide. Checking the weather conditions so that we know that we're not going to be flying through a lot of clouds or clouds that will interfere with our imagery. Uh, all that pre-work is done so that by the time we come to the hangar, we're ready to go and we know that we can have an operational mission. When we get to the aircraft, we have a few things we need to do. The pilots need to do their pre-flight checks to make sure that the plane is in good working order. I need to make sure that the system's ready to go. So I'll plug in the data drives, I'll clean the glass so there's no smudges for our pictures. And we also brief the mission so that we're all on the same page about what we need to get accomplished for the day. Then when we're ready to operate, we get on the plane, I shut the cabin door, and then we start rolling. So I do some ground tests, but mostly what's important as we get started with the operation is that I'm turning all the systems on, checking that everything is connecting properly and that the system is working. So the pilots get us to where we need to be and then the system starts taking pictures. In flight, the plane will automatically take pictures as we get over our image location. As pictures are being taken, I'm watching the images as they come in and check that they have the right lightness and they're very, balanced and they're going to look good for our data product. I'm also checking that our GPS data is coming in and that we have the inputs that we need. And so I'm monitoring all of those statistics and all the metadata for the flight as we're flying the mission. Once we're back on the ground, I pull the data drives out of the cameras and I check that the images were of good quality. I also check the position data, the trajectory of the flight, to make sure that we were connected to GPS the whole time and the position of the photos is going to be correct. And then I'll calculate the tides for that location and make sure that the images were collected at the correct tide data. Once all of that post-processing has been done, I will start planning for the next day, kind of starting the whole process all over again. My name is Lieutenant Julia Waldsmith. I'm really glad you could fly with us today so you can see a little bit about what takes place on the day of uh, NOAA 68. It was a lot of fun getting to show off the system. Uh, it's a lot of fun on the road and I hope you had a good time watching.